Jesse V. And I'm wearing a shirt that says Colorado Springs, but I've never been there before. I just like the shirt. If you're from Colorado, hello. All right, so in today's video, we're gonna be talking about the creepy origins of Jack and Jill. You guys know I like to talk about the dark history of fairy tales. This is definitely more of a nursery rhyme, but because I talked about Hansel and Gretel last month, I thought this would be the perfect nursery rhyme to talk about this month. Before I get started though, I have a very exciting announcement. We have just released the Easter mystery boxes on the website. We've already sold a hundred in a day, so we have 200 left. If you would like one, I will link it down below. I'm gonna show you a couple things that you can get in this box. The first thing is this very cute bunny. It comes in three different colors and they're all really fluffy and at the very end they have different color fur. I love it. Then we have what are called cupcake scrunchies and these are so cool. They come in different colors so you get your scrunchie that looks like the cupcake and then you're able to use the actual cupcake cup to make a real cupcake in the oven which is so cool. I'm pretty sure this is silicone material so that is something you can get. Then we got different unicorn eggs and when you squeeze it a unicorn actually pops out. I've been playing with this all day. It's actually, I gotta put it down. Then there's different keychains you can get. This is a ice cream keychain, but there's also a popsicle keychain. There's also a bunch of different candy socks, which I love, and these are so soft and just so goofy. There's a Jessie V pin, a Jessie V bracelet. I mean, there are so many things. So if you would like one, I've linked it down below. All right, so let's get right into today's video about Jack and Jill. I feel like it would be really hard to find someone that couldn't complete the sentence Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. It's a very popular old English nursery rhyme that we must have all heard in our childhood. Now, this rhyme seems innocent enough, but a lot of people don't know that it has some very dark history behind it. Now, I don't know about you guys, but when I was a kid, I only really ever heard the first paragraph of the rhyme, but it actually has three paragraphs. So before we get into the creepy history, I just wanted to read it all for you in case you had never heard the whole thing. Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. Jack Jack fell down and broke his crown and Jill came tumbling after. That's the part that I feel like we all know by heart, right? Well, it continues. Up got Jack and home he did trot as fast as he could caper. He went to bed and bound his head with vinegar and brown paper. When Jill came in, how she did grin to see Jack's paper plaster. Mother vexed did whip her next for causing Jack's disaster. Did you guys ever hear that part? Please comment down below if you've ever heard the whole rhyme. Why have I only ever heard the beginning of it? I mean, the rhyme itself gets a little bit dark, doesn't it? All right, so there are three possible origin stories for this rhyme. The first one is called Hijuki and Bill. I'm gonna sneeze. It's coming. It's coming. That's right on the tip of my nose. Oh no, it went away. Isn't that the worst? When you're about to sneeze and it's right there and your eyes are watering and you feel it and then it just disperses? Okay, so let's get into this legend. This is an old Norse myth about a creepy moon named Manny who steals these two children named Hayuki and Bill. He basically wanted to just pluck them right from the earth. The kidnapping happens as the two children are collecting water from a well, and it is believed that the story was told to young children to try and prevent them from going out alone after dark. Now, it is hypothesized that after many, many years and decades of telling this old story that Hiyuki became Jack and Bill became Jill and that's why now it's Jack and Jill and the moon, the creepy moon is no longer involved. But I had never heard that old story before so I find that really interesting. Imagine like a creepy moon coming to chase you to pluck you right off the earth. No thank you. Next we have a true story of King Louis XVI and Marie Antoinette. Now King Louis was beheaded, hence the line in the rhyme lost his crown because when his head comes off, his crown comes off. And then shortly after, Marie Antoinette was also beheaded. Hence the line in the rhyme came tumbling after because her head followed closely behind him, if you know what I mean. Some have pointed out that the earliest known printing of the rhyme actually came before those tragic events, which couldn't possibly mean it was inspired by them, but they do seem to fit quite well. And then we have a story called Kilmerston. In a small town in England called Kilmerston, there is an actual 
actual hill that is now called Jack and Jill Hill that locals believe inspired the nursery rhyme. This story involves a very young couple. There was Jill who was apparently a local spinster and then there was Jack who was her mysterious lover. Now the word spinster was used to refer to single women between the ages of 23 and 26. So in this version of the story, Jill becomes pregnant by Jack and the couple is overjoyed. But when Jack goes up the hill to collect some water, he is tragically killed by this dislodged boulder that falls down and crushes him. And then Jill dies of a broken heart shortly after. And then the small town of Kilmerston band together to raise Jack and Jill's son together. And today there are six stone markers that line the hill, each with one verse from the poem. And then at the very top of the hill, there is a well and a plaque dedicated to Jack and Jill along with two tombstones. They literally made them tombstones for this story, which I find so intriguing. You would never think reading the Jack and Jill nursery rhyme that there were rest in peace tombstones for them. So those are the three origin stories that people think Jack and Jill might have come from. Please comment down below which one you think is the legit one. And lastly, I have a really creepy story that came from a family. It's supposedly said to be true, but who knows? It's called The Missing Page. There was a true story about a family that moved into a house that was built in the 1800s. It was really falling apart, so they basically bought the house to fix it up and make it look brand new again, which a lot of people do. They noticed the first week that there were drops of water that would randomly fall from the ceiling and they weren't able to find the source. And then their four-year-old kid kept drawing these strange crayon drawings. He would draw a head with two X's for eyes and a horribly sad face. And when they would ask him where the rest of the body was because it was just a head, the son would reply, not there. One day the father found a ladder to go up into the attic and the floor up there was drenched in water, which he thought was probably from major leaks in the roof. But then he saw that sitting in the very center of the attic was a bucket. And when he walked over to it and looked down, sitting in the pail was this old torn piece of paper that looked like it had literally just been ripped out of a book. And when he picked up the page to investigate, he saw that it was an old nursery rhyme. Jack and Jill. And that's how the story ends. So this family believed that they were being haunted by something that resembled the nursery rhyme, the water in their house, a bucket in their attic. It all just seems so weird. It was almost like the previous owners tried to set it up that way for anyone who bought the house. Really creepy. Very strange. Anyway, so guys, that is the end of today's video. If you want me to keep doing creepy origin stories of old nursery rhymes or fairy tales, give this video a thumbs up and let me know. And don't forget, if you would like the Easter mystery box, it is linked down below, but I hope you guys have an awesome rest of your day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.